What? What? This place exists on this continent? Guys, wow, I'm speechless. Welcome to Mandenga Cultural Village. Where is Maya? Maya! Maya! You just vanished. Maya! Why are you disturbing my peace when I'm busy enjoying from grandma's spot? You're inside here this whole time. You just vanished. I'm thinking, where did you go? This place is a paradise. Is it? I mean, they call it a madhouse, but to me, this is the best place to live. I mean, this is even the kitchen. I was enjoying from grandma's spot and you're here disturbing me. I'm sorry, I just wanted you to see, you know, the beautiful place. Well, what do you expect? I've been telling you that Africa is the place to be. Yeah, for sure. I mean, you might think America is great. China is great. Europe is great. But you haven't seen anything until you come here. It's great, but Africa is, is the place, place to be. be. Are you having a good time in the I'm kingdom the of s I mean, like, it's hot in here, but so far as I it's enter here, here, hey, it's super warm, oh, super warm, super, super cold and chilled in here. Have you seen the place that we sleep? Have you been there? No, not yet. You want me to take you there? Oh, please do. Oh, my goodness. I mean, it's a modernized madhouse. Oh, really? Super beautiful. Let's go check it out. This is living luxury in the beautiful jungle. I mean, we are in the middle of the forest, but the beauty in here is beyond your skyscrapers. Hi! This is Mandenga Cultural Village. I mean, I love the fact that the people of Eswantini are still stuck to their culture because stuck to their culture you know all through these years because i feel like some african countries are losing it copying from the western world if you're from eswantini i salute you respect man it's crazy if you move around this place mm -hmm. you will see that they've even reserved the culture mm -hmm. so this is the what the cultural village and this is the history of this whole village. I'm so glad to be here. Welcome to the cultural village, uh, representing how the lifestyle of the Swati people were centuries ago. This family is for one family. There we have the main entrance, the gate. Near the gate we have the crawl where we keep cows. And just on our left hand side there is the girls' bedroom right near the entrance. Yet the boys' bedroom is far on the other side near the crowd. So they have to make sure the crowds are still within the crowd. And the girls' bedroom, they were there because girls in the past, they were not killed. They will spare them to have wives one day. So if an enemy goes to attack, the enemy will be distracted by the beauty from the girls. We find that in that way, he is disturbed. He will be minding the girls over there. Just near the crowd, we have the traditional healer's hut or the medicine person's hut. In other words, the Sangoma, just near the ancestors. We believe that ancestors, you can communicate with them inside the crowd. And I also mentioned that the first son and the last son in a family, when they get married, they don't leave their parents home. Behind me, we have the first son's bedroom with his wife. And behind you, we have the last son's bedroom with his wife. And a wife must have three hearts. It will be a bedroom, a kitchen, and a brewing hut. But on the other side, we have the first wife compound. And we have the grandmother's compound. For this other end, we have the last wife compound. All of them, they have the three hearts. Near the last wife's compound, you can find the husband's bedroom. He is minding the new wife. Keep on reminding her. Of her responsibilities. That is how a typical Swazi homestead used to look like centuries ago. If you don't know what a modernized, luxurious, heavenly madhouse looks like, this is exactly how a heavenly, modernized madhouse looks like. It's just 
stunning, beautiful, breathtaking. If you go to heaven, this is the house that you're gonna live in. I mean, look at the mountains in front of the house. How beautiful is that? Now that you've heard the history on how the Swazi people used to live their life, mm -hmm. it's time to come and enjoy the music and dance of the Swazi people. I mean, these people are so energetic. I don't know what they eat, but I feel like they've been eating the pop and beans for so long. And this dance is super beautiful. I can't wait to see it. And the best time to enjoy this dance, whenever you come to Mandenga Village, it's exactly 3 o'clock p.m. Ooh. I mean, okay. stay tuned and enjoy this. Tell me you don't like it. If I didn't know you, I didn't take you to be, you know, from this country. What, what, what are you trying to say? Everything, like your whole look, this thing on your neck, this, you know, this cloth, your shoes, this thing that you're holding. You know, how ignorant for you to ask me, I look so swazi. I had to ask. I've been in this country for a week, and anytime I dress like this, walking in town, People start speaking their language with me, thinking that I'm one of them. But hey, let me tell you, if you're an African out there and you call me a foreigner in Swazi, somebody say, are you mad? Do I look like a Ghanaian? You look like you're from this country. I'm African, born in Ghana, so when I come to Swaziland, my brother, no, when I come into the kingdom of Eswantini, I'm one of them. Okay, I am you the Swazi, Sabona, Sawobona. When you are together, we say Sambona Ni. Thank you. What do you want to oh, add wow. again? I'm, I'm sure Kroy didn't even learn the language. I, I mean, eh, language, it's something that it's so easy for me. Immediately I came here, people started talking to me in their language and I had to learn. Hey, I wanted to welcome you all into the kingdom. But I will say, I will tell you guys later. But hey, look behind us. We are in a beautiful jungle. This place is so beautiful. And if you listen closely, you'll, you'll hear the waterfall. Oh my goodness. Like, I woke up this morning, listened to the sound of the bed. Oh my God. And where we sleep, right behind us, that's where... Like there's a stream passing by. Oh man. Oh my so goodness. Beautiful. And then the monkeys. You seen the monkeys? Hey! Yeah. You know, we oh, mistakenly yeah. opened our door and the monkey entered. I was like, brothers and sisters, I'm <laughs> home. <laughs> but this place is amazing. Like you're inside the jungle, you are one with nature, like your heart is at peace. I mean, this is the place. I would love to live for the rest of my life. I wouldn't mind. Dressed either. like this. I mean, you see why I love wearing slippers? Because I want to be free. And look I at me. I think you're feeling like that because this is naturally us. You know, we are African. This is us. <laughs> I mean, like, hey, please, I need um, a citizenship in this country because I want to stay here forever. Have you been to the waterfall? Naturally. Do you want me to take you there? Of course, let's go. Let me take you to the waterfall and go listen to the sound of the waterfall. But right in front of you, that's a beautiful restaurant where you can buy anything that you want. Come on, you forgot I took you there this morning to eat breakfast? Yo, having a luxurious breakfast in the beautiful jungle is just amazing. Like, uh, this is an English breakfast. I requested for an African breakfast but they gave me an english breakfast i really wanted an authentic swazi breakfast since we are in in Swazi the land. beautiful jungle but anyway but anyway it's a lot and it's really tasty you have minced meat beans you know egg bacon mushrooms potatoes this will take you the whole day imagine waking up like having your honeymoon waking up early morning and enjoying yourself inside a jungle how cool is that that's that's amazing man. amazing Good morning. We are now closer to the waterfall. Are you ready? Uh, I was born ready. You're born ready. Close your eyes. Let me take you. No, it's okay. Just, just nothing is gonna happen to you. It's okay. 
keep walking, keep walking. But first of all, open your eyes a little bit. He's saying that warning. Whenever you come here, swimming is strictly prohibited. No fishing. Those of you who love fish, this is not the best place to come and enjoy your fishing barbecue. No rock climbing. Do not go beyond the barrier line. It's okay. Eyes closed. Let's go. Now, 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 you can open your eyes. Oh, wow. wow, this place is so beautiful. Just wow. Africa is a hidden game. The most underrated continent in the entire world. But yet, the whole world depends on this continent. Whether they like it or not, Africa will forever reign. Look how beautiful that waterfall is. And then there are two. I love how the both of them come and then That's they a twin waterfall. Oh. Twins. And this is the water that comes all the way to where we live. So whenever you're sleeping, you feel like, oh my God. Oh my God. This is, this is it. I mean, tell me you don't love Madinga Kocha Village. I love it. Like, I have a thing about water. It's so soothing to me. If I can just sit, sit here the whole day and just take mm. it in. Now you've seen the beauty of Madinga Village. And I'm blown away. You're blown away right from the Kocha Village to the modern, modern house, straight to the restaurant. And now to the waterfall. And now to the waterfall. Oh, yeah. What are you going to tell people who are looking forward to visit this beautiful kingdom? This is a place to be. Like I said, your America is great. Your Europe is great. But, but Africa, is Africa the kingdom of Eswantini, is the best place to be. It's your boy, Mr. Ghana, baby. And I'm going to see you in the next one. Yeah.